Hello, my name is Ezra, and today we're having a conversation with Westford veteran Paul Murray. A Conversation with a Westford Veteran is a project of the Westford Museum and Historical Society to conduct interviews of Westford's Korean and Vietnam veterans. This project is sponsored by the Massachusetts State Historical Records Advisory Board and the Veterans Heritage Grant Project. Before we get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Ezra Burson. I am a graduate of Westford Academy, class of 2023, and a summer intern at the Westford Museum. I'm looking forward to majoring in history at Framingham State University. Today we're speaking with Paul Murray. Mr. Murray grew up in Arlington, served in the Navy, and moved to Westford to work at the Westford communication site at Millstone Hill. He has been an election official for the town of Westford and has served on many town boards and committees and has assisted in the town's athletic department. Hello, Mr. Murray. So what made you want to join the Navy? Uh, during my junior year in high school, my friends and I were all interested in uh, automobile mechanics. And we were working various jobs at gas stations. One of the station owners had a son who was in the Navy, and he and his friends would drop by on occasion and we got to talking to them. They recommended that we look into or uh, join the Naval Reserve, uh, especially a, a CB battalion that had a lot of mechanical skills associated with it. So after my 17th birthday, I signed up with six of my friends and away we went. When I graduated from high school, I was unsure of what my future would be working as a mechanic. So I decided to investigate a full-time enlistment in the Navy. Went to Boston, saw the Navy recruiter, explained my situation, and he offered me a four-year enlistment with guaranteed schooling. To me, this sounded like the solution to my way to develop a future. So on October 17, 1957, I left for boot camps at Great Lakes, Illinois. And what was boot camp like? Well, basic training was easy for me. I experienced a short boot camp session in Bainbridge, Maryland, while I was in the reserves with the Seabees. During boot camp, we were given many aptitude tests to see where we would best fit in the Navy rating structure. The results of those tests uh, were determined that my best job description would be a fire control technician. A fire controlman works on radars, computers, and pointing controls for the weapon systems aboard ship. After boot camp, I reported to fire control school in Bainbridge, Maryland for approximately six months. It was a different type of school than I was used to, extremely disciplined, and we were informed that if you did not learn, you would be cut loose and probably wind up serving on some garbage scale. Um, and what did you do after your training? Upon completion of fire control school in Maryland, I was assigned to the USS Purdy DD-734, a World War II destroyer. Built in Bath, Maine, saw action in the Pacific, was hit by a kamikaze in the spring of 1945, and it was birthed in Newport, Rhode Island. As part of a destroyer squadron known as Deseron 12, during that time my enlistment was extended for six months uh, during the construction of the Berlin Wall. I returned to school to train in underwater fire control at Bainbridge for a three-month course. What did you do um, on the ship? We were responsible for uh, all the uh, weapon systems uh, electronically or electrically. Uh, back in that days, th that days, there was no digital computers. There was mechanical computers, and therefore my mechanical skills became important. Uh, we would test and uh, keep the systems up and operational. And after we came out of uh, repairs or overhaul at Charlestown Navy Yard, we'd go down to Guantanamo to participate in qualifications for all ship's departments, including gunnery. And we would uh, do some shooting exercises. And the main thrust of uh, that ship was uh, it was assigned to uh, the North Atlantic, where we were on anti-submarine patrol for most of the time, uh, chasing the bad guys around. So what did you do after you left the Navy? After I left the Navy in the end of March 1962, I shopped around for a job in electronics. The only thing I could find was a startup company called Digital Equipment in Maynard. So I went to work for them building components for new computers. One evening when I returned home, my dad had a bunch of his town meeting buddies at the house preparing for an upcoming town meeting. 
when I was approached by one of them and asked me if I had just gotten out of the Navy, which I had. Did I know anything about 5-inch 38 gun mounts? I replied yes. He informed me that he worked for MIT Lincoln Laboratory, and the, la and the laboratory had a new communications project. They were going to mount an antenna on a converted 5-inch 38 gun mount for training and elevation. And we're looking for people who could work on it and get the control systems working. Told them I was interested, an application was filed, and an interview was scheduled. When Lincoln Laboratory called for the interview, I said, well, I live in Arlington. You're right up the street in Lexington. This should be easy. And the person I was speaking with said, no, it's in Westford. Of course, my response was, where? I made it through to Westford for the interview with two staff engineers. One of them excused himself, came back five minutes later and informed me, if I had went down to the institute in Cambridge for a physical, MIT would hire me right there. In February of 1963, I started to work at Millstone Hill, the home of Haystack and Westford, and at the Westford Communications site. And inter inter interestingly enough, the project that we worked on was named Project Westford. I then finally retired in August of 2013 after 50 years of service to the laboratory, working on many different interesting and challenging projects. During that time, with the encouragement of the staff at the Westford site, I started my education at Lowell Tech which became the University of Lowell, and after 14 years, achieved my bachelor's degree in engineering in the uh, night school sessions. All of this because I decided to put my life together in 1957 by enlisting full-time in the United States Navy. What did I get out of my Navy experience? An opportunity to serve my country, protecting the homeland. Confidence that I could achieve my goals and the discipline to carry out orders, respect for my crewmates, and to follow protocol. Mr. Murray, it was a pleasure to speak with you today and would like to thank you for your dedication and service to our country. Thank you.